everyone sees this persona of these athletes and assumes that this is professional wrestling. Like that is who that person is, no matter what. And it just isn't the case. No. I was a dumb kid at a golf tournament. Uh, obviously, had a little bit to drink. Got introduced to Charles Barkley, and uh, and he said something about. I think I told the story on the podcast before. Said something about, "Oh, you're about the same age as my daughter." And I was like, "Well, bring her here. Where's she? Why can't I be talking? I don't want to talk to you." And then he same thing laughed, and we sat down and drank together for the rest of the night and by the rest of the night, I mean, into the morning, uh, you know, he is that kind of guy. I would imagine that someone who is so naturally funny and cocky as Charles Barkley, or, you know, confident, I, I guess, who's constantly having people say yes to him and, and kind of kowtow to him. You would imagine that that person kind of thrives on a little bit of conflict. That's funny to them. And they don't get it from anyone because everyone's too afraid of it. And every so often someone brings that to the table and it's like, oh, okay, I get it. You don't treat me a certain way because of who I am. You treat me a certain way uh, because you see me as a human being, not as a celebrity right, sort of. Right. And that goes a very long way. And it's also one of those things with a, a guy like Charles Barkley. And I think this... This goes, you know, we have Wendell Clark on the podcast. We have uh, Doug Gilmore on the podcast. And these guys were known for being like, you know, in Doug's case, a killer on the ice or like a bruiser, yep. Captain Crunch. And yet their personalities are so down to earth and they are so uh, genuine, Great. right? Yep. Everyone sees this persona of these athletes and assumes that this is professional wrestling. Like that is who that person is no matter what. And it just isn't the case. No, and no. it's great to hear that because, and you know, we, we started off this podcast talking about the ways in which uh, athletes bring their sense of humor off the, off the ice or outside of the court. And uh, it, that is common where, where they're just genuine human beings. And I love hearing these stories because it, it, it almost makes watching sports more difficult because you want to hate certain players for doing certain things. And I remember when uh, we were at the All-Star game once, and I can't, I think it was in Columbus, and uh, obviously big, pe big Penguins fan, big Leafs fan, so naturally I'm going to uh, despise the Philadelphia Flyers. That's just, it comes with the territory. That's part of sports rivalries. And who was the person you were supposed to hate on the Flyers as a part of a member of another team or a fan of another team? Claude Giroux. You just didn't like, especially if you were a fan of Sidney Crosby, those two butt heads. And I was obviously on Sidney's team. And then I met him by happenstance at one of the, the athlete parties uh, in, in Columbus. And wouldn't you know it? He is the nicest human being. Yeah. And it, pissed me off so much because it's I hard want, to hate a guy you like exactly I want it to be easy just put this person in their place where you are bad so I dislike you you are good so I like you and you meet them and they have a personality and you're like okay sports are more complicated than than I would ever come to realize and you hear those stories all the that's time that's interesting thank you so much for watching this clip of the sign off of framework podcast just a reminder that we have full episodes of the sign off available wherever you get your podcasts on iTunes Stitcher Spotify Google Podcasts and more make sure to like and subscribe on whichever platform you use you can find us on on Twitter at Frameworth Sport or on Instagram at Frameworth Sports. And hey, if you're not sick of me yet, you can find me on Twitter at Retrograde Mikey. Finally, feel free to send us emails with your questions you want us to answer on the show and we may feature you live. You can do that by sending your emails to signoffpod at frameworth.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you with a new episode every single Thursday.